happy Martin Luther King Day to you guys. I don't know what you all doing today or if anybody's working or not working. So I hope you enjoy your day. This morning, I want to briefly talk about um, a chapter that I put in my book called The Sin of a Man. And then I have a, a subtopic in it. It's called What is Fatherlessness? And I'm going to read a little bit from it. Um, but you know, sometimes you see young women going through life. And it seems like they never can be happy with the man. They're constantly breaking up and jumping from relationship to relationship. Their marriages might not work. And it just seems like they're always unhappy. Or it's like they're they're searching for something, but they don't know what they're looking for. And even then, sometimes they might you might ask, well, what's going on? What's wrong? And they'll tell you, I don't know. I just I can't find what I'm looking for. And so, in my book, Confessions of a Preacher's Daughter, in this particular chapter, I, I, I touch on the sin of a man. And what I mean by that, the sin of a man is a scent. It's an impression. It's a mark that a father leaves on a female child. And we as female children, we need that mark. You know, I asked a question last year, does lack of a father figure affect the young girl growing up? And some people said no, and the most of the majority said yes, and it does. It affects us a lot when we don't have our fathers in our life, or we don't have the right father figure in our life. Because so many men, and I'm not bashing you guys, but so many men feel like as long as you're the provider as long as I'm providing a roof over this child's head, as long as I'm putting food in this child's mouth, then she should be happy. I'm doing my duties. But, you know, providing for a child is only a portion of your responsibility to your female daughters. Young girls need love and affection growing up because women are receivers we receive love we receive the man in the marriage bed we receive everything we receive the man coming to us to take us as a wife we receive all of this so therefore it's in our nature to desire certain things from a man it's in our nature to desire comfort love affection attention from a man because we are receivers, God made us to receive the man. So therefore, when a young girl is growing up, she needs that father there to give her the love, the attention, the affection, to show this young girl what kind of man she should expect to be her husband and not settle for less. So when we have when we have a lack of father figure or we are there's the wrong father figure in our life then we grow up missing something we grow up with something missing from us we grow up like you know what's wrong you know and we don't realize it and some women we don't realize this until we're grown until we're well some like me almost in my 30s i'm i'm fin i'm almost 40 now and I just realized a few years ago, this is what's been wrong with me all these years. I've, I've never been happy in relationships. I, I constantly was bouncing from relationship to relationship because I was searching for a father. Searching for a father and a man because of the lack of father, a father figure in my household. Yes, I had a two parent home for X amount of years, but was it the right father figure? Was there love and affection? No. So I'm gonna read something from my book. It says, what is fatherlessness? It is the lack of an emotional bond between a daughter and her father. A fatherless daughter can experience many emotional breakdowns, rendering them trauma survivors at a young age. 
This impact of this trauma affects her at every major developmental milestone in her life. There's no father-daughter dances. There's no piggyback rides. There's no let me save you from the boogeyman. There's none of this. And little girls need this. Young girls can miss out on, a, on learning positive behaviors, certain social skills, and comfort with a male-female relationship because their fathers were not there to teach them, which is what gave me the title for this particular chapter in my book, The Sin of a Man. Many women go through life and go from man to man, never being fully satisfied in a relationship because they don't know what to look for in a potential mate. And for most of them, when they do encounter a man who truly loves them, they don't know how to receive it because they don't know what to look for. All they have encountered through life is hurt. All they have encountered through life is bad mistakes with men. Therefore, they don't know a good man when they see it. Therefore, they might ruin that marriage. They might ruin that relationship. But if, if the, unless it's a strong man, unless he can say, unless he can identify that this woman has some issues that I can help her through. Some women even unknowingly date and, attra and are attracted to men who are aggressive because they are still searching for the father figure in a man. Sometimes we as women, we can go through years of life and we're constantly searching. We get with some man who who's overbearing, who's going to tell us what to do, who's going to put his foot down, and who's going to, you know, just be arrogant. And some women crave this. But you got to go back to the root of the problem. Why do you crave this aggressive man? Why do you crave, the, why do you want a man that's going to abuse you mentally and beat you down and, and, and tell you what to do? Because you're searching for that father that you lacked as a child growing up or that lack of the right father figure in your household. You can disagree with me all you want, but I, I am very big on going back to the root of problems. So many times we go through life, we have these issues, we can't figure out why we can't keep a man, why we can't keep a woman, why we keep jumping from relationship to relationship, why we keep getting in and out of these multiple marriages, because we got to deal with ourselves. We got to go back to the problem, the initial problem that started it all. The initial problem that started all these cycles. And for me, I'm, you, know, you guys know I'm very transparent. For me, my problems started because I had the lack of the right father figure in my life. And then I had the lack of no father figure. So I went through life not knowing how to choose a man or how to choose a, a potential boyfriend or whatever because I didn't have that love and affection and that's what so many women nowadays we don't have it because fathers you you won't step up to the plate to show your young daughters love it's more like I said it's more to it than just providing it's more And some women find it hard to distinguish between love and lust from a man who's interested in her. We think this man loves us. We think he's so into us. We think it. We just think it. He's good in bed. And that's all we got in our mind is, oh, he's good in bed. Because we don't know what else to look for. We don't know how to look at a man that's really going to truly love us, love our mind, love our flaws, deal with us as we deal with ourselves. A man that can take you in your broken state, your broken, nasty, ugly self, and love you through your process of learning yourself. That is a man who loves you. But you take a man that all he wants is to have a good time. He don't care about your kids. He don't care about you. He don't care about nothing but, but chilling. That's lust. He cares nothing about you. But we go through life and this is what we are attracted to. We are attracted to the good looking, good thing in bed. That's what we want. But then we ignore the guy over here who might be a little pudgy in the middle or me might not be so pleasing to the eye 
But this is the man that's going to love you. This is the man God has for you. But you choose lust over love. And it all goes back to she does not know how to properly identify a man who's in love with her. She doesn't know how to identify because lack of the father in her life. Little girls need that special love and attention growing up that only a father can give. Only a father can give us young girls the, that took that particular love I'm sorry I'm getting tongue tied but only a father can give young girls this type of love little girls need to be told how pretty they are growing up to help build their self esteem to help build their image about themselves while they're young they need a father in their life to take them out on days to show them what to expect out of a good man one who will teach them how to know when they're dealing with an abusive or a lazy man. The sin of a man. Do you have the sin of your father on you, ladies? Me, guys, have you left your sin on your daughters? Because I guarantee you, if you leave your sin on your daughter, <coughs> sorry, I guarantee you she will do well in dating. So that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys have a good rest of the week. Enjoy your Martin Luther King Day. And you guys be blessed.